In this video, you will learn how to configure connector for Salesforce and Jira in Salesforce. After you install the app from the Salesforce app exchange, you need to first create a remote site. Navigate to Salesforce setup and go to remote site settings. Click new remote site, add Jira as a remote site name, and then add remote site URL. If you are connecting to Jira cloud, add HTTPS sfgc.integration.appfire.app. But if you're connecting to your data center Jira instance, add your Jira URL and save. Next, let's create a connection to your Jira instance. Navigate to installed packages and go to configure in the Jira cloud for Salesforce package. Here we need to set up a connection to your Jira. So make sure you already installed and configured connector for Salesforce and Jira in the Jira instance that you are connecting to. Click on add connection Add the connection name and the access token from the Jira Connector app. Click on Save and the connection will be created. You can also customize your configuration here. The last step is setting up Lightning App Components. To do that, navigate to Salesforce case or another object and edit the page. Drag the connector component on the screen, place the component anywhere you need and save. And you're all done with setup. Now let's associate Jira issue to see its details in Salesforce and keep them in sync. Search for Jira issue from the connected project, select a Jira issue and associate. Jira issue details and the Jira comment section shows the latest Jira issue data directly in your Salesforce object. And just like this, you create and link Jira issues or Salesforce objects automatically without switching to another platform. To learn more about connector for Salesforce and Jira, visit AppFire's documentation.